What's what's this disc replacement made of? There are several designs that are on the market now. Uh, the one that I'm currently using is made out of um, three parts. There, are, There's a shell on the upper and lower end that's made out of a plastic material called PEAK, polyethyl ether ketone, which is an inert plastic that's been around in orthopedics for a long time. And it's strong as hell. Very strong, and it has good, uh, very good surface characteristics. It's highly polished and very low wear debris with it. Uh, it has a titanium mesh coating on the surface for bony ingrowth. It feels like fine grit sandpaper. And there's some little mechanical teeth that dig into the bone. And this uh, mesh coating allows for quick ingrowth of bone into the, the mesh coating. Yeah, kind of, there's an interface there. Of there's connection. an interface. Okay. And then the central core is made out of a zirconium ceramic that is, uh, again, I, uh, uh, surface uh, smoothness. So you that have, sounds stiff. Doesn't sound very springy. There is no spring at all. Uh, it's ah. just it's just motion. Um, but that's that's really quite adequate. Again, so most most okay. of the spring in the in the spine actually comes from the shape of the curve. Ah, uh, so you've got this just kind of a, you describe sounds like sounds like a sandwich. And between those two, between the zirconium and the peak, is there's this, movement. There's movement. So there's it wibble wobbles. It can rotate. Uh, it can flex, extend, lateral bend. Um, and it's not a lot of movement. It's about 10 degrees. Well, you don't need much. It's not moving you that don't much need anyway. Much. <clears throat> and so a lot of patients will ask if these things are going to last, last a lifetime. And the answer is we don't have 30-year clinical data in patients. But we do have very good mechanical testing data from the FDA studies, and we believe that they will last a lifetime because the loading circumstances appear to be below what we call the, the endurance limit. In other words, we're just not doing enough to the device to wear it out. Gotcha. And it's not a surprise result because the circumstances are so much more favorable in the cervical spine than, say, in the uh, knee or the hip, where the models, the mechanical testing models, fairly accurately predict the failure of those devices when they occur. Mm -hmm. um, but if you think about the circumstances in the cervical spine, the, the contact stress is way less than in the hip or the knee. The, right. arc, the arc of movement is way less, 5 or 10 degrees versus 100. And the number of cycles in a lifetime is much less. It reminds me of a car commercial show. I think it was Mercedes where they have this machine opening the door and closing the door. Slam open, slam. So you can do a million tests. You just put and it we in have that. machines that and do it. You've done that. And the machines do it. And when you don't stress it that much, which in the neck we really don't. Um, is that the weight of the head? You don't have the weight of the body there. And it's right. just not that much. Uh, you don't have the, the, the impact effect of ambulation. So when you're walking or moving quickly, you're transiently really loading these things up when you have contact stresses across these joints where the muscles are acting across the joint also you just don't have that in the neck so how many years ago was the first one you really did when did you start getting really doing this routinely well i've, I've been doing it for 20 years but 20 years ago i was in it was in studies um clinical you, studies so you had you had access to pre release you know in in, in stuff i don't forget what you call it you know it was, or that it was in the study so 20 years ago, you said you started doing uh, this? COG has been involved in several clinical trials. Uh, one of the early discs was the Brian disc, and we were involved in the ProDisc study and the PCM study, and I was involved in the Charité lumbar study. So you've been doing this personally for 20 years? Correct. And what's the So you have patients that have had these in their bodies for 20 years? That would be true. And, you, and you're seeing durability. They're uh, durable. I have seen durability. Um, I've, I've had to revise very few of these devices over the years. 